Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Q&A video. This Q&A focuses on the movies and ranging to the television show. There's actually a lot of questions on, I guess, the state of The Walking Dead in general right now, just because of the last week. There was a lot of articles posted on just The Walking Dead universe in general, the future of it, and so that's kind of what everyone's been talking about over the last week. First of all, thank you guys for all the questions. I will be doing another Q&A this Sunday. As of this Sunday coming up, will be, I think we're going to be like 28 days until The Walking Dead returns, so I really have to start doing doing these Q&As or bringing them back because I haven't really been doing them a lot. January for YouTubers is always kind of a mess. That's kind of for the most part why. But Q&As are always fun to do. I always enjoy answering questions. So for next week's Q&A or I guess this Sunday's Q&A, just post questions down below because it's just easier to remember that way because I'll randomly see questions like Q&A and then whatever. And I guess make sure you do that too. Put Q&A in the beginning this way I see it. And yeah, it just makes it a lot easier to see. Anyways, before we begin, I do have to warn you for spoilers for The Walking Dead Season 10, I guess for the most part. And I'm not going to be talking about the comics or anything like that. Just, I guess, the status of certain characters and the story. And yeah, that's basically it. So let's get into the first question here. Do you feel that AMC is bordering on oversaturation with The Walking Dead, Fear, etc.? I miss the realness of the first real seasons too. I don't think AMC is bordering on oversaturation only because if you like The Walking Dead and you like zombie stories in general, you might actually be really interested in all that. I mean, time's gonna tell, right? Like, in two years from now, we'll, we can look back and be like, yeah, that was just a lot. Like, I couldn't watch every single episode every single Sunday sort of thing. Because this year, there's gonna be at least, I would imagine, 40 weekends or 40 Sundays out of 52 Sundays of something Walking Dead related airing. This year so far, from January 1st until February 23rd, is probably the longest stretch. The next break without any Walking Dead content this year is likely going to be Christmas, so once The Walking Dead comes back on the 23rd of February, we're basically going to be talking about The Walking Dead or just Walking Dead things in general all year. I think time will tell with all this stuff. I mean, if the content's good, I mean, what does it really matter? I think at this point in The Walking Dead's like lifespan anyways, if you're still watching, you're like a fan of The Walking Dead. If you stopped watching, then I guess, I mean, you already kind of got bored of The Walking Dead. Which is just a natural thing, because obviously shows going on their 10th season, or going on to their 11th season this year, they're not keeping all their fans. There's no television show in the world that does that. So do I think AMC is bordering on oversaturation? As of now, I would say no, but we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, my opinion could be very, very different in, in a year from now. We've never had Walking Dead content like this, right? So yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that. What role do you think Lydia plays in the back half? Yeah, she's that one character that, she's kind of a mystery for me, because she ran out there in Whisperer territory. When you watch the trailer for the second half of the season, she's nowhere to be found. I doubt she's joined the Whisperers again. Does she play a role in her mother's death? That could also be a possibility. Maybe she does play a role in that final scene. In this shot here where we see Alpha with all the blood and all that, maybe Lydia has something to do with this scene. Maybe that's why Alpha's having a hard time... I don't know, maybe Alpha is killing Lydia here. I have no idea. I don't know what she's doing here. What is Lydia's role in the future? You know, in the comic, she was with Carl for a very long time before their relationship just went nowhere and then Carl ended up with Andrea, or Andrea, Sophia. So who knows? You know, they can kill Lydia off this season. That would be... I wouldn't be that surprised, to be honest. Angela Kang has changed up a lot of stuff. That could be something that happens. I'm sure Alpha's gonna find her, though, just because why would you write it so that she ran out there in Whisperer territory and then nothing happened? with that. Alpha's probably gonna find her and yeah, I don't know where they go from there. Do you think Rick Grimes will inevitably die when the main series has its conclusion? If so, how? I think he's probably going to die only because Andrew Lincoln's probably not gonna be doing this forever and The Walking Dead's likely gonna continue on for a very, very long time. And even if the show ended, that's the thing too, even if the show ended, say, just somehow in season 14 or 15, AMC is gonna continue different stories, I would imagine. Like Gimple mentioned something about the final issue of the comic or reading like a pilot. So they could always start season 15 or 16 as like an, another reboot of The Walking Dead where Judith and RJ are now like late 30s, early 40s. They're Rick's age and Rick at that point could be dead. Even if he survived everything, maybe he just died of old age. I don't know. He died of natural causes, you know, like at some point. Yeah, it's going to end with Rick dying. It's never going to end where, you know, he lived happily ever after and then you know, like that was it sort of thing. I don't think it's ever going to be that. As for how he's going to die, um, I mean, I don't even know if I really want to get into that because I don't even know. Personally, I don't even know. I don't even know how you can do it. I mean, I'm not going to get into comic stuff here because I don't want to get into spoilers, but yeah, I don't know. I'll leave it there. 
Do you fully trust Virgil? I mean, he still is mostly a stranger to them, and everything he says could just be lies, hiding some kind of plan to capture people or something. The thing about, like, can you really trust Virgil and all that is, like, if, he, if he's trying to capture people or he has this different motive, I just don't think they have enough episodes to execute that storyline. Because Michonne, I think, is going to be in episode 10, and then she'll be in 12. She could be in 11, and then 12, but... She's, I really think she only has two more episodes left. Because of that, I don't think you can really execute that type of storyline. I think maybe there's something wrong with Virgil, or there's something up with Virgil, where he's not fully telling the truth of where, he, where he's from, or, or things like that, and that could have to do with the CRM and, and where Rick is. I think just because Michonne's leaving, that's likely what it is. And so as of now, I do trust Virgil for the most part. Maybe he's hiding something, like where he's really from and what they do, because the CRM, like where Rick is anyways, that part of that organization, they're... I don't know if you would say evil, but they're, I guess in terms of The Walking Dead in that universe, I think they would be villains. So Virgil could have that backstory and he's just keeping that a secret and he's just not telling Michonne because Michonne going over there maybe puts her in danger for some weird reason. I don't know. Other than the Rick movies, would you want to see another Walking Dead movie maybe about the governor or Negan? Uh, For a Negan movie, I would, I guess I'd be up for it, but I don't really care as of now. Just because we got that really good Negan episode earlier this season, I would really, really love a Governor uh, movie just because I miss the Governor. It's been a long time since he was on the show. Six years now, I think. Yeah, about six years, six, seven years. I, I like the character, and as much as I didn't like the Governor episodes, I think you can actually execute a storyline or an actual like movie with that character because you'd have faster pacing and you at least know what we're getting, right? I think the reason why I don't like those episodes so much, and like I rewatched one of them for the reviews and stuff, and I did actually, I was a little more interested, but back then when I watched it, like I was watching it live on TV. The last thing we saw was Herschel and Michonne getting taken. I think it was by the governor. I think they, they showed that. And so I wanted to get to that, but then we had episode six and then episode seven, we're winning week to week and it was just getting so annoying. The episodes overall, they're really not that bad. I definitely, like, I hate on it a little bit too much, but I still remember that that frustration that I felt, so that's why I added it in there. An actual movie going in knowing you're going to get this Governor spinoff movie, I mean, I, I would love that. If it was your choice, seeing as a character will probably die in the season premiere, what character would you choose? So I guess you mean the mid-season premiere. I, I, I'm going with Connie as of now. I know a lot of people get mad when I say that, but I just, you don't see her in the trailer and you see Daryl, he looks like he's really, really down, like really, really down. And I'm thinking that that's why Judith makes him that wing or I guess repairs the wing on his vest. And when you see Daryl walking out to the gates of Hilltop, it's almost like he has this new inspiration to fight back. Like maybe Judith said something inspirational or something like that. And he puts his vest on. Maybe it's something related to Rick. I don't know. I really have no idea what it could be. I just, I feel like the reason why he seems so down and all that after getting out of there is because Connie's not there. And I don't know, because someone's going to die. I really think someone's going to die. Otherwise, this whole trap is just really pointless. It could be Magna or maybe Jerry. Sure, it could be any of those characters. But I just, you know, when I focus on that Daryl angle, I can't help but think it's going to be Connie. Do you think the Walking Dead universe will succeed? Ratings are down and fear is really bad. Will the Walking Dead universe survive? Oh, yeah. The Walking Dead universe is surviving for a very, very, very long time. Like, even if the ratings are down right now, the thing you got to remember is that they're building, like, this universe. And even though to us right now, sometimes it could be a little weird of like, just the idea of them making the universe, although I've, I've kind of accepted it as of recent, or I guess as of, like, a year ago. The ratings could be down right now, but in 10 years, The Walking Dead could have this big resurgence of popularity, because that can always happen, right? Like, if you think of Star Trek or Star Wars or an anything like that, Marvel, although I guess Marvel's kind of a newer thing too with the, with the movies anyways. Things go away for a long time, then all of a sudden 20 years later, everyone's looking back and starting to feel nostalgic, and then they want to see certain things like that. So maybe The Walking Dead does that at some point in the future. That would be smart. Like, that's a good reason to not kill Rick Grimes, right? Or whatever. Like, in 20 years, when Norman Reedus, Andrew Lincoln, all of them are much older, bring them back for a movie or something like that, and they'll just be, they'll be like 60 years old or something like that. What are you most excited for for the second half of the season? I, I feel like it's Maggie coming back. 
it, I think it might be, it could be Alpha's death potentially, or Maggie coming back. And I, I know a lot of people aren't that excited about her coming back. Um, well, I shouldn't say a lot of people, but there are some people that whenever I mention Maggie and being excited about Maggie, they're always saying something like, why? Like, who cares? And I really do care. I really, really like Maggie as a character. She is one of my favorite characters. I really can't wait for her to come back to The Walking Dead. When I see her, I think of The Walking Dead. It's really that simple. And so that to have her back on the show is going to be really amazing. Michonne's exit is definitely something I'm looking forward to or I'm most excited for. Not because she's leaving, but because of, of the whole Rick thing, potentially. But because I don't know if that's going to happen or not. As of now, it's Maggie. Just because when she comes back, the show's going to feel... I guess it'll feel a lot like Season 2, I feel like. It'll have a different tone. You'll start getting some Season 2 vibes, because in Season 2, Michonne wasn't there, right? So maybe you'll get some new vibes like that mixed in with some current Commonwealth Season 11 vibes. I don't know. Who do you think will kill Beta and when? Well, it's not going to be Negan, because I think he's going to kill Alpha. It likely will just be Aaron, I think. I think they probably could do that, and I know it's pretty random, but if you if you read the comic, you probably know where I'm going with this. What do you think of The Walking Dead currently in its state? I think The Walking Dead right now is very, very successful. I know the first half of the season was a, a really slow, but the second half is going to be really, really exciting. I'm, I'm hoping that it's done really well, and if it is, I mean, we're going to go right into that third show, and we know that third show is going to be ending after two seasons, so there's a lot of excitement for me to watch that, just because I know there's going to be an ending. And then we get Fear the Walking Dead later, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I know a lot of people want me to review it. And I am still thinking about it just because this year is a big year for Walking Dead content. We're literally going to be jumping off shows from like Sunday to Sunday. And I, it's kind of, it's kind of exciting to think that I can talk about this stuff every single week. It'll be ongoing all year. I'm so used to talking about the Walking Dead for eight weeks and there's a break for six, seven months. And then eight weeks again, there's a break for two, three months. You know what I mean? To talk about it all year could be really exciting and a lot of fun, so we'll see. As of now, currently, I think they're, they are fixed a lot of stuff from where they're at. Like, The Walking Dead used to get so much hate two years ago, two, three years ago, whenever that was. But as of late, I'm not seeing it in the comments. Like, I really don't anymore. You do get the typical, oh, the show's still on sort of comment, but I think everyone understands The Walking Dead is a very, very good show, and yeah, I hope they keep doing what they're doing. I think they're playing it really smart right now. But thank you guys so much for posting all of your questions. I really enjoyed reading all of them and answering all of them. Post more down below for next week's Q&A or for this Sunday's q and I'm not sure what's going to be happening this week. I'm sure something's going to come out because we're literally, I think, yeah, a month and three days away until The Walking Dead comes back. They're going to start promoting the hell out of this. There's going to be teasers, trailers, and yeah, I mean, I'm excited. So hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Make sure to be a subscriber if you want more Walking Dead content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.